I'm not even going to delete that out. This is going to be part of the video. Okay. <laughs> it actually probably will be. Who knows? Okay, are right, ready? All right, let's get all official. Yeah, look right there. All right. Hey, guys. Todd Falcone here. What's up? Uh, still here in Johannesburg, and I figure while I'm here, what the heck, let's uh, take advantage of the opportunity with Mr. Jai Hugeness himself, uh, Andrew Eaton. What is Jai Hugeness? Bigger than huge. You cannot go bigger than <laughs> Jai Hugeness. I, re <laughs> I remember like two or three years ago when we first, uh, when I first came out here and you were talking all about Jai Hugeness. I mean, what a great name. And you branded, you fully branded Jai Hugeness, which is yeah. Jai Huge. Because playing small doesn't serve you. Exactly. Exactly. So, all right. So, <laughs> I love hanging out with you, man. All right. So, I'm sitting here with Andrew Eaton. Um, Andrew and I met actually uh, a few years ago at uh, Eric Worre's GoPro event. He pulled me aside and interviewed me and said, one day I'm going to have you out to South Africa. And then later that year, I spent the entire month of July uh, touring all over South Africa. And I think that what you that first event, what did you guys have like six people out there total, or five, six yeah. for the first GoPro? Yeah, we uh, there were six of us. Yeah, six of us. And uh, he's done exceptionally well the last few years. Uh, some of you have heard me talk about him, and this is actually the guy right here. Uh, when I talk about recruiting professionals and some of the people that have really embraced like the way I teach recruiting up the socioeconomic chain, uh, I've used you many times in the United States, so just so you know that, uh, I think he's aware of that, but, uh, you know, just kind of sharing a story. He's recruited personally over 200 people using the peak interest question, which is? Uh, try yeah. Now ask your question. Sure, absolutely. Do it all keep your options open in terms of making money outside of what you're doing currently as a uh, network marketing professional speaker and coach? I'm all about Good keeping food. my opportunities open for making more money. Absolutely. Super. Super. Yeah, exactly. See, the funny thing is, like, I remember, <clears throat> I don't know if we were flying from Port Elizabeth to Durban or if it was Cape Town to Port Elizabeth, but you're like, hey, check out my laptop. And you, know, you see that peak interest question? And I was like, you're on LinkedIn, and you showed me this conversation, and then a few days later, you had the, the guy in your downline. So Yeah, no, I, well, I had him in my downline by the time we landed in Port Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, look, um, here's what I want to put Andrew on camera today. I mean, he's done really, really well. Um, the last few years he's i mean south africa by the way is not really close to the united states it's a pretty long flight right i mean when i came here last time it took me 30 hours in total travel time to get here i just flew in from oslo so it was only 15 hours but um you know go, making the commitment to you know bring people to events like we're doing an event tomorrow with how many people are going to have to be at this event tomorrow? Um, you know, Todd, we, we put it together at pretty short notice, mm -hmm. but I reckon we'll, we'll have 300 odd people there. Yeah, so I mean, this is done in the last month in, you know, two weeks, two and a half weeks before Christmas, and he's putting, you know, 300 people in a room. So the question I want to ask you is, like, what, what are some of your strategies of like, of, of, like, getting people to show up for events? Because so many times I hear people that, like, I can't, nobody comes to my events, I can't get people to show up, and... I know that events are key drivers to business growth. Um, you not only do exceptionally well in bringing people to local events, but you've grown the amount of people. In fact, we were talking last night about how you got so many people to this last. I want you guys to share. You got to actually talk about that. Like, uh, like, can you reshare the story we talked about last night at dinner? Um, I'm gonna kind of set it up. So, my uh, first year, he brought uh, like six people from South Africa all the way over to Vegas for GoPro, and. Um, the next year brought a few more it was like 12. 12 and then the third year 18 18 and that was the year that uh, eric was selling those 100 packs, <laughs> 100 packs. <laughs> so i'm gonna let you take it over from there like what you what you did because i think this is this is really this is a good lesson for all of you in terms of like getting more people to events so he um, ran up on stage and uh when eric was making these 100 packs available and i'll let you go yeah, well, I mean, and there's a lesson in this. So there's two lessons in here. One is um, if you think you're thinking big, you're wrong. You can always think bigger. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, success is found on the other side of your comfort zone. So yeah. so, that, so, so within the story, though, that's probably one of the, the big lessons I think um, people can take away from it. And that is that 
<clears throat> I was sitting at uh, at the GoPro event, and you know my strategy was to see if I could double my figures every year. So I'd gone six, twelve, eighteen. So the year I was actually made that big decision, I hadn't actually succeeded in doubling my number. Uh -huh. But you know, a growth by six, I was not too unhappy about. So I thought, okay, if I can bring forty people in two thousand and sixteen, then uh, that, that that that'll be a, a good show. Yeah. <clears throat> and I'm sitting in the event and. Uh, Obviously, uh, Eric's now doing the sales for the next event, and he says, you know, if you want to be a partner and you want to sit with uh, Richard Branson, and if you want to sit and meet with Tony Robbins and, you know, and, and do meet and greets and take photographs, you know, you can become a partner and you buy a pack of 100, to 100 tickets. Um, and then those of you who are committed to that, get on stage now. So uh, I'm sitting there and I'm, 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 I'm looking to the left and the right, and I'm looking at my team, and their, their eyes are all glued on me like this. <laughs> you know, they want to see what, you know, they want to see what yeah, I'm going to do, absolutely. you know. I'm going, well, you know, Andrew, maybe it's time to think a bit bigger. And um, yeah, I went up on stage. As I'm walking on stage, I've still got no idea. Number one, it's $35,000. Um, um, I've got no idea how I'm going to pay for that yet. Um, and I've got no idea how I'm going to get 100 people to Vegas. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just knew that, that I had to be on stage. Totally out of my comfort zone, made the commitment. No, I had no idea how I was going to pay. As you remember, that night was the, um, the white the white uh the white, white party. party the white yep. party and um i arrived quite late for that because what i did uh is i um <clears throat> left that left the <laughs> left the room i uh, didn't know what i was gonna do i got my 18 people the 18 people that were there uh -huh. uh, we got them all committed to um to taking a ticket right in there so it's 18 out of the 100 sold um uh there was a three-month payment option so i committed to the three-month payment option which i'm cutting a long story short yeah, i yeah. a longer version yeah. last night um, and then the next day was the last day, and the next day we were flying out. Now, Emirates has um, its Wi-Fi on, uh, on board. Yeah. The long and the short of it is by expanding my thinking, being out of my comfort zone, and knowing that I was going to be in financial trouble if I didn't move tickets. <laughs> 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 um, uh, I, um, by the time we landed in South Africa, um, you know, 24 hours later, where that's what, you know, you fly... LA, Dubai, 16 hours, Dubai, South Africa, eight and a half hours. By the time I landed back in South Africa, 70 out of the 100 tickets had been moved. Um, so that's 30 more than I'd wanted to sell in the, pre in the whole of the year. So, so the lesson there is, um, is, is, is really just get out, of my, you know, get out of your comfort zone, think bigger. Um, and, uh, um, and the way we really sold this tickets, the, you know, I've got some, obviously got some of the leaders to, to commit to some of their teams to bring two or three, but it was stories, you know, um, tell stories. Um, and um, and and share the excitement and 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 that's how you know it wasn't just me selling all 70 tickets. A um, couple of guys sold you know sold three or four to their teams at that night as well at the white pot before the white party. I told them you go back to your room and you get two or three people committed tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's what you communicated in that way. And and so you know things that we hear all the time about success and sometimes like, even when I speak on stage. You know, I'm saying something, and I'll prep the audience. Say, look, you know, sometimes when you're gonna you're gonna hear something, and you're gonna hear something that you may have heard before, but instead of tuning out and going, oh yeah, doesn't this guy have anything better to say? Maybe that's an opportunity to tune in and go, you know, maybe I ought to look and see if if that's actually appearing in my own life. Like, you know, the whole idea of thinking bigger. I mean, sometimes we we think we're thinking bigger, but are we really thinking big? I mean, you and you put yourself into a very uncomfortable financial situation which caused you to think in a different manner and and then you took you know significant actionable steps towards making it happen so by the time you even landed you know you had already sold most of the tickets yeah, and yeah. you know even um in a, a previous video that you guys saw here this kind of same similar backdrop with uh with boyd allen that we just um and if you haven't uh, by the way if you haven't seen that post i don't know where you're watching this either on youtube or on uh, my my regular toddfalcone.com page you want to watch the previous video because i actually had an opportunity he and i were <clears throat> going to the gym and we uh, bumped into Boyd Allen, who's one of the top MMA fighters here in South Africa, and we were able to pull him aside a little bit. It was that was an interesting. I knew you were behind the camera when I was doing the interview, and kind of going, "Yeah, that's like we talk about that stuff and consistency and training and you know discipline and yeah. and it was a fascinating interview." But uh, I'm so excited to see like how um, you progress since I've you know first met you and. Um, I mean, you, you made it happen with getting me to, you know, you, here's the one thing I've noticed about you. When you say something, you go do it. And, um, you know, that's one thing as you're watching this video, do, do you, you know, are you a person that's, you know, if you say something, do you actually do it? One thing about Andrew is like, 
the guy does it. Like, you know, I'm gonna get you out to South Africa. You got me out to South Africa. I'm gonna commit to these tickets. I sold all these tickets, you know, and I'm, and then, you know, this last year you were asked to speak on stage and, and uh, that was awesome to see you in the limelight up at GoPro. And, and, and one, huh? yeah, it's a big one. It was a big, were you scared at all? Um, am I allowed to swear? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe a little nervous, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's you know, ten, twelve thousand people, or fifteen thousand, whatever the number was, and yeah, yeah, not knowing what questions are going to be asked. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's Eric for you. He's like throws you up on stage, and like I don't know what I'm going to ask you yet, but that's better. You be, you know, never yeah. know what's going to happen. Yeah, it was so. a big one of being there representing the profession. So yeah. Great. So, yeah, so lessons in this uh, much longer video than I normally do on my you blog. Ask me about, you want to still ask me about what, what we do to promote the events, to get people to the events? Yeah, oh, you know, we should probably do that, shouldn't we? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm curious. I mean, obviously, you you know, I mean, I, some of the lessons are you, you, you didn't sit around waiting. Like, like if you, you would have never sold those tickets for GoPro mm. had you not, like, taken the initiative and made the phone calls and made the commitment, asked people for, for commitment. Mm. You do events like we're going to do tomorrow. I mean, there's people like have crickets showing up, you know, at their, I mean, there's literally nobody. There's not actually, there's no crickets. There's just nothing showing up. So what do you do? What are some of the things you do to fill up your well, I mean, I'll tell you, tomorrow we've got guys coming in from Zimbabwe, a neighboring country. So they're flying, and that's an expensive flight. I know they just yeah. took us the other side, but it's an international flight. They're driving from Zimbabwe. There's a there's there's a there's a, a little bus coming up from 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 Durban, which is a, which is about a seven five to seven hour drive. We've got people coming from Cape Town, which yep. is a, which is a two hour flight. Port Elizabeth, two hour flight. Yeah. You know, some people are driving that. Um, um, so so, look, this is this is what this is how, you know. First of all, getting people to events, you've got to make it a part of a, a, the culture of your team. Um, and that starts from the top, so you got to buy into the events first. I will tell you something that um, uh, you don't have a business unless you do, unless you have events. You just you just don't have a business. Um, yeah. Build your business from event to event to event, and that's taken a long time for me to get that culture right in our team here in South Africa. Because, Todd, as you know, a lot of my team weren't involved in network marketing at all. Yeah. Um, you know, they they they're all new, and um, you know, you bring in a network marketer into your business, they understand the importance of events. You bring in a newbie, he goes, well, why do I need to be there on a Saturday? You know, this is a so we had to really build that, that, that culture up. But, but what I find, you know, if you're trying to get someone to an event, now, whether you've got a team of 10,000 or whether you've got a team of 10, or whether you've got one person in your downline that you need to get to that event, you need to find out their why. You find need, out their why? Yeah, you need to find out, you need, you need to understand why they're doing this business, what they want to achieve, you know, um, because, um, you know, you can't just keep telling them, oh, you've got to come to the event, because if you don't know why they're doing the business, if you don't know why they, what they're trying to achieve, you know, you can't get a person to come to a, a destination event who wants to make fifty dollars a month from this business. You know, yeah, it's just not going to yeah. do it. But if you got someone that you know wants to make five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a month from this business because they want to do X, Y, Z with their lives. This is what they want. Now you've got a why to work with, and then you've got to get good at telling a story and relating it back to their why. So, if, if you look at you know where, where I play right now, my whole year, my whole year, Todd, is focused on getting my team to, to, to GoPro. Yeah. That is my destination event of choice for my team. Yeah. Okay. And it's a huge commitment for people to get there. So, so I always tell the story of, you know, when I'm sitting, when I'm sitting with you, Todd, and, and you want to know why must I come to Vegas? And I said, Todd, well, how, well, how big do you want to go with this business? You know, what do you want to do? Why are you doing this business? And you give me that all, you give it all back to me. And you say to me, okay, Todd, you know, here's the thing. You can get there. You've got all the ability to get there in the whole world. But in my opinion, if you're not at that event, you're not going to get there. And this is the reasons why. Yeah. Because what you do duplicates, Todd. That's true. Okay. Yeah. So how can you expect people? Because I know, Todd, you and I both know that, that if, if we, um, that, that, that if you're in a big business, you need to get your people to events. Would you agree with me? Yes, I would. Okay, so if you're not prepared to go to it, how can you expect people in your business to go to it? You want to build a big business, don't you? Yeah, okay. I do. All right, so Todd, how do we get? How do we start putting together a game plan right now to make sure that you're in Vegas by, by December 2018? How do we put together a game plan? If we do X, Y, and Z right now, if you can commit to the tickets, well, I mean that's not a problem. That's a couple of hundred dollars. Okay, so let's get committed to the ticket and let's put together a game plan right now for you to get to Vegas by 2018. Now here's what's going to happen, Todd, is when people see you committed, they're going to follow you. They see you're not committed, they're going to follow you as well. Yeah. Do you want? Which way do you want to get your team committed? Yeah. The right direction or the wrong direction? That's right. And, um, and Todd, by the way, this is why I love Vegas so much. This is why I love GoPro so much. When I went there in 2013, when I walked into that room, I realized I was thinking too small. The reason we, why we are where we are today right now, Todd, is because I realized I was thinking too small. Now, I could not have thought any bigger than what I was thinking unless I exposed myself to that event in Vegas in 2013. Yeah. 
So if you think you're thinking big now, Todd, you need to that that event's going to make you think bigger. Do you want to think bigger? I do. All right. So you know. You want to go meet the, uh, the million dollar earners. You want to go and see how many million dollar earners are in this business. If you want to get your mind expanded, Todd, we need to get you to Vegas. Can I get your commitment? And then they ask for the commitment. Yeah. yeah. And so that's really it. Now you can do that with a Vegas event. You can do that with the destination event. You can do it with a monthly training. Hey, Todd, you know what? You know, we've got our training next week, Saturday. And I know that you get tickets for, 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 for the rugby or football. I know you had tickets. But Todd, how big do you want to go with this business? Because there are going to be some sacrifices you're going to have to make along the way. Yeah. How big do you want to go? Yeah, you go big. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, so Todd, you know what you do duplicates. Now, there was a time where I would have chosen football or rugby game over, 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 um, over an event, over a company event, but you know what? I realized it wasn't putting money in my back pocket. And I realized that if I, was want, if I wanted to get to where I wanted, I needed to make some short-term sacrifices. Yep. So, t you know, Todd, for me, I know you've got the rugby tickets, I know you've got the football tickets. Let's get rid of those, and let's, let's stop building on your financial future. How important is it for your kids right now for you to make more money? See? So good. Thanks, man. So good. <laughs> so, I mean, that's like... Uh, and, so you can't do that unless you know your why. You cannot do it unless you know the why. And again, that's one of those things where you, in network marketing, you hear it so many times. Like, yeah, you got to, you know, find a why that makes you cry, get clear with the why. Then, But people, like, maybe they've heard it so many times. Like, so I, watching this video, if I'm in your seat watching the video, how often am I actually really getting clear with what somebody's why is? Or do I glaze over it? And I, I, I know because I've worked with and coached a lot of people and, and been you know, pose the, this question to them. They're like, I actually don't really know my frontline personally sponsored real reasons why. So don't glaze out on it. And yeah. you, you, you use the why as a, as a driver to get them to go to the event because, and it's, it's the direct attachment to their why, which you utilize in getting them to commit to the event. And if, yeah. you, and if you're a professional network marketer, Todd, and you're getting your guys started properly, one of the first things you're going to get out of them is their why. Why are you doing this business? Yeah. I need to find out why. What are we working toward for you? You know, what, what is it that you want to achieve? Why? What's your burning desire? Yeah. Do you even know it? Because if people you, don't. Because if you're just floating around, then you're probably not going to succeed in this business. So yeah. I need to help you find your why sometimes. Yeah. And when I found, help you find your why, then I can promote events. Then I can promote you becoming professional. Yeah. Until then, you're just floating. Remember when Boyd was talking about that? He was talking about uh, you know having a goal, having yeah. a, having you know being clear. It's like there's no sense in training if you don't really have an objective in mind. Absolutely, so good. And some so people good. just don't know why. I mean, I've sat with people. All right, you know why you want to do this business? I want to make money. No, 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 no. We all want to make money. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? And then they struggle to actually realize what. The, what some people have lost their dreams. Yeah. Our job is to help them find those dreams again. Yeah. And guide them along a path to 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 achieve them pretty predictable path that they put in the work and become professional sure, sure. yeah a ja huge path it's got to be ja huge next. <laughs> <laughs> i love you brother man i appreciate you for yeah. being uh being on this is my boy from south africa mr andrew eaton stud master master promoter and uh, he does other things that i can't talk about on this video so. Uh, Wait, uh, down down? Yeah, I want to no, talk about that. I want to the down down. <laughs> but, my, but my team knows that in Vegas. It's a party trick in Vegas. But, but, <laughs> but what I want to finish off with you, Todd, is, is you know, if you're following Todd, you know, I just want to thank you, Todd. I mean, you, you, I've got four or five people that I call huge mentors in my life, and you know that you're one of them. And um, but, but by just applying some of your teachings and your principles into my personal, the way I personally do the business, and duplicating it into enough people into my team, um, I mean, I wouldn't be here today without us meeting in Vegas and uh, and then uh, following your your mentorship. So so if you guys are watching this, um, this is one of the greatest guys in the industry, uh, and I mean that so sincerely. I'm not trying to promote you here, yeah. but it's a sincere compliment and, a, and, a, and sincere gratitude, so, so thanks for what you're doing, both for my business, for me, and also for the entire network marketing profession. You're, you, you're, a, you're, you're a legend, man. I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you. Wow. All right. Well, we're going to get after it. We've got stuff to do today. We're going to have some fun. It's a, it's a beautiful day here in Johannesburg. We'll see you guys on another video, and uh, thanks, brother. Thanks, man. Let's go have some fun. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys later. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye.